Hi, Mr. Lemaster here. This is a prompt that we're going to be reading, and another word for prompt is a writing task. Let's start with the question. What type of text do you think you will be reading? Okay, so in the prompt, it tells us that we're going to be reading an article. All right, but that's not the only thing we want to pay attention to. We want to know what the article's name is. We want to know as much as we can about the article so that we can uh, best answer this question because look over at our answers. It can either be a narrative, informational text, or opinion. All right, so read the article, what it means to be a good citizen today. Identify the characteristics of a good citizen. All right, so what it means to be a good citizen hmm, today. There's a couple of key words here, today and what it means what it means and today. So this tells me that the person who is writing this is going to be speaking from something that they believe. They're, the writer is going to be speaking about something he or she believes, speaking about it in uh, his or her own point of view, where he or she kind of lives, understands things. Well, let's look. Is it going to be a story? Um, there could be a story in it, yes, but I don't think the whole thing is going to be narrative. Informational, yeah, there's going to be some information about it, but I don't think it's going to be about the why, the where, the when, the who. But I do think it's going to be an opinion. What it means to be a good citizen, that's going to be someone's opinion explaining why, what it means to be a good citizen today. And this is what's really important is that we need to know that this is an opinion so when we go into the reading we can make a good decision about what we think is coming how we're going to read it what can we expect from an opinion that's right their own point of view and the reasons for that point of view but if we go into it thinking it's a story we're going to be confused because we're going to say well where's the setting we're going to say where's the plot where are the characters well, if there are not, there isn't a plot and there isn't characters and there isn't a setting, well, we're going to be confused. So we need to know when we go into it what to expect. Well, we need to use clues, what it means, and today, that's going to be based on someone's opinion.